Okay, let's take a look at question 30 in topic set 6. This is a Hess's law question. As you can see here, you have three reactions that are given to you with enthalpies, and then you're also being asked to find the delta H for this reaction right here, which is our target. So what we need to do is then think about how we need to rearrange these three reactions right here in a way that would give us our target that's highlighted in yellow. So we always look for things that are unique in the given reaction, a target reaction. So for example, we need to get iron on the product side in the target reaction. And if we look at all the three reactions we have, the only one that has iron is reaction one, and it's on the product side, but it has a coefficient of two. So that means we need to multiply reaction one by a half. Now this is what's going to happen when you do that. You're going to get half Fe2O3 plus three halves CO goes to Fe and three halves CO2. The Delta H, it's going to be negative 23 times a half, which is just negative 11.5 kilojoules. So that's the first one. Then another one we look at is FeO. In the target, that has a coefficient of 1, and it's on the reactant side. If we look at our given reaction, the only one that contains FeO is reaction 3. And so we need to do two things with reaction 3 to make it look like the target. We need to reverse it and then multiply it by third. If we do that, we would get F E O, right? So again, we're writing the product first here because we reverse the reaction plus one third CO2 going to one third Fe three O four and then one third CO. And the delta H, which is delta H three right here, is reversed, so it becomes negative eighteen multiplied by a third that becomes negative six kilojoules. All right, so we're done with reaction one and three. So what should we do with reaction two? In our equation we have a couple of things so far that we don't really have in the target. These are the species Fe3O4 and Fe2O3. If we were to just add the first two that we've done so far, we were going to have those two species in our final reaction. But in our target, you can see that we don't have any of those things in the target. So target just has these species right here. We need to get rid of these, which means we need to cancel them. So that's how we're going to use reaction two. We're going to make it so that reaction two cancels out both Fe3O4 and Fe2O3, okay? To do that, that means we need to reverse reaction 2 because reaction 2 has Fe3O4, but it has it on the product side. So I need to cancel it out with Fe3O4 that's already on the product, so I need to reverse it and make it react. Fe2O3 is on the reactant. I need to cancel a reactant Fe2O3, so I need to flip that and make it to the product side. So I need to reverse reaction 2. Now that's not enough though, because then I also need to multiply it in such a way that it would cancel out exactly these two Fe2O3 and Fe3O4 species. So if you look, Fe2O3 is a half. That's the one I have to cancel. This one is three. So to go from three to a half, I'm going to need to divide by six, right? Or multiply by one six. And if you look at the Fe3O4, I have a third. I right now I have two. To make two go and become a third, I also need to divide by six. So that means that what I need to do when I reaction two is reverse it and then multiply by one six. So once I do that, this should be what I have. One third Fe3O4 plus one six CO2 goes to half Fe2O3 plus one six CO. And the delta H here is going to be negative 39, but then it's flipped. So it becomes positive 39 and then times one six. So that ends up being six and a half kilojoule. Okay, so now we've done all we can do with each of those reactions. We're gonna add all of these together and see which one cancels out. So Fe3O4, you can see this one and this one are the same. They're on opposite sides, reactants and products, so they cancel. The Fe2O3, again, we designed this so that they will cancel each other, so we get rid of that guy. And then let's look at some other species here. We have FeO. That one doesn't have anything to cancel that out with, so we would write it here as the reactant. We also have Fe, that's on the product side, it also doesn't have anything to cancel that out with so Fe and then let's look at the carbon species so we have carbon monoxide three halves we have carbon monoxide a third we have one six carbon monoxide so we have three different carbon monoxide species with different coefficients but we can make that 
have the same denominator, all of them being six. If we have all of them being six, that means that this one plus this one, two six plus three, one six is three six. Three six is just the same as one half. So if you have one half and you have three halves on the other side, then you just end up being one. CO on this side. Then if you look at the CO2, it's really the same case. You have three halves, one third and one sixth, which also simplifies to one CO2. And of course, that's the, exactly the target reaction that's being asked for. So that means to get the delta H, we just need to add all the numbers that we have for the delta H of the reactions after we make those changes. And that would add up to negative 11 kilojoules.